So in this video I will do a review of the Komodo Dragon platform or also called Komodo One. This is a web-based server that allows you to manage all of your endpoints, your Windows boxes, your Linux boxes, your Macs, your iPhones, your Android phones, checking into a cloud-based server and you manage the antivirus settings via this console. Here's my cell phone. Here's this desktop here. Uh, this is a virtual machine Linux. This is my laptop. This is my father-in-law's uh, laptop. To get your endpoints checking into the server, first you need to set up an account here, and it's all free. First you need to set up this uh, communication client software, and it's just a, a simple uh, MSI that you download, and it'll uh, you can send out an email to people and it'll give you hey click this link for your Windows or your Mac or your iOS or your Android it'll give you instructions how to install this on a Linux um, if you have like Active Directory you have thousands of computers and you want to enroll your thousands of computers into this management console you can but uh, you just click this and it will download if you're connected to the internet then it'll start checking into your specific console my father-in-law's endpoint or laptop said uh, this error message says the endpoint is not protected by Komodo client security click to install this also does patch management you can see whether your endpoints are missing patches you can remotely check for missing patches you click this and it'll send a command out to that endpoint and then it'll report back you can refresh the device information but first I need to put this in the group right now I have a group set up this is for my family for you know like my wife and me and uh, father-in-law and stuff like that but right now he's in the just a default customer So I'll add this to my family group and I had to change the default owner on this back to my father-in-law's laptop software inventory. Right now he has Norton Security Online. To uninstall another version of an antivirus you don't want I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Norton anyway. I've seen a completely patched Windows XP box many, many years ago running the latest patches and the, the service packs and running uh, semantic antivirus and getting hit by a flash drive-by, an ad, a malicious ad, and it got infected. And semantic didn't even chirp once, not until my friend called me up and said, hey, I've got all these pop-ups and I ran a virus scan on his uh, laptop and then all of a sudden Norton or Symantec pops up a bunch of oh you're infected with this and that but it didn't detect the Adobe flash download or exploit that allowed them to put the virus or worm or whatever the hell it was on his laptop in the first place so I uninstalled that and put on Komodo and I haven't had a problem I've used Komodo internet security free uh, the free version for over 10 years and have never had an infection on my laptop or computers. You check this and uninstall application. And uh, so I'm chatting with my father-in-law over WhatsApp and he says he's sitting there watching his laptop but I'm in Colorado, he's in Florida and uh, so we'll see how it works. In my day job for the Department of Defense this this console here is all web based if anybody's ever worked in HBSS you know what a pain in the ass it is to run your own server uh, you're running a, a Windows Server 2008 or 2012 with an SQL server and it's just sluggish chugging along uh, barely even usable you click refresh on your on your Mac for EPO console and it just sits there spinning and half the time the 
Microsoft SQL Server will go offline for no freaking reason. Then you got to troubleshoot what the hell happened. But this is this is way more intuitive than the McAfee console, the McAfee ePolicy console. You can see what software besides the McAfee software is installed. You can see what patches are installed. A McAfee uh, ePolicy setup like this would cost about 10 grand in licensings and then you have all the endpoint licenses and then you have uh, the SQL server license then you have the server 2012 license and then you have uh, the forced obsolescence of having to upgrade to server 2016 or server 2019 in a few years when you just upgraded you know your Mac VE policy server so having everything cloud-based makes this so simple. So apparently, WikiLeaks has the CIA, uh, some correspondence from the CIA, saying that uh, basically raiding your antivirus. Uh, F-Secure, low-tier product that causes minimal difficulty. Avira, um, typically easy to evade. Uh, Kas Kaspersky. Uh, uh, a, a flaw in their code which allows the CIA to bypass their security. Security firm Komodo, which deals with business solutions, received perhaps the best badge of honor from the CIA. A colossal pain in the ass is what the CIA calls Komodo Internet Security or Komodo Antivirus. It literally catches everything until you tell it not to. This is a, a, a resounding uh, endorsement, in my opinion, from the from the CIA. I mean, of course, the CIA is up to probably doing no good, uh, especially if they're directing their uh, forces or their uh, resources toward U.S. citizens, which would be illegal. My father-in-law had to manually go into the control panel and uninstall the Norton online security and then reboot but uh, you see here the Norton software is not installed anymore so to install Komodo internet security you come up here say install or update packages install additional Komodo packages click install Komodo client security and force a reboot or you can suppress it say you don't want to reboot or you can pop up a warning saying your device needs to reboot or you can say uh, if I can type here Komodo internet security installation complete a reboot is required and install and then you see up here it'll push it out and I'm thousands of miles and, and two or three time zones away and I'm doing this all remotely so my father-in-law just rebooted his laptop and it's come back up you see that he's got the agent he's got the antivirus he's got the firewall and the containment Say so I want to kick off a, a, a scan on this computer. You can go full scan. His computer updated to the latest antivirus database and is running a full virus scan. I do believe his .NET update got installed because I don't see it in the list anymore. So it just goes through and uh, installs all the latest patches for all your Microsoft software. I hope you found the Dragon Platform Endpoint Manager review useful. If you did, give it a like, a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe.